Hello, so we're back. Finally Friday. And today we have an interesting job. This uh, job is coming from a local repair shop. And uh, it's coming with no powering and came like that in pieces. But before we are starting, let's speak about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for all kinds of PCB. 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal, all kinds of PCB are available on this website. Every new register, they will have uh, a credit of $5. So basically you can order for free about 10 PCBs. Now I came across the PCB way when we start on the other channel, the beginner lessons. And we start with the kit. And I thought, you know what? Why we should buy kits when actually we can build ourselves? And yeah, I do have in plan to build up a kit, a special power supply, 6 amps, 0 to 30 volts, but I just need a little bit of time. Now let's have a look on the PCBs from the PCB way. Now check here on the qualities of those boards. Proper nice layout. Okay. But before we are going back to the laptop, I want to show you something because PCB way send me a Christmas present. Check here, proper nice, it's magnetic and uh, actually I can wear it. What do you think? Proper nice from them. Now let me show you the other stuff, the PCB way uh, send it to me. For Christmas tree, all they need is the, the batteries. All kind of stuff, all kind of stuff. And also a letter. Let's open the letter for the first time. PCB way. Proper nice from uh, Elaine and all PCB ways other members. Elaine is one of uh, representative of uh, PCB way. A very very nice lady. So overall, I will say I'm impressed. You know, I mean, like a co big company, the size of the you know of the PCB way. Just you know to remember. Okay, you know what? Listen to sorry in a Christmas present. I'm properly impressed. Not even speaking about the pillow. Ah, huh? proper nice pillow. We are ready for Christmas. Okay, so let's go back to this laptop. Let's have a look why this laptop came in pieces. Oh, can you spot anything? The board is looking good. I can see here some liquid damage. Huh. The liquid damage is also on the motherboard. Okay, you know what? It is looking bad. Check here. Huh? But only here is the liquid damage. Otherwise, the board is looking quite good. Let's plug a charger quickly. HP Blue Pin. HP Blue Pin. No, that's Acer. HP Blue Pin, check here, yeah? Nineteen volts on the power supply. Plug in the charger. So we plug the charger and it's taking absolutely no power and we don't have any light on the charging port. Let's check the main power L. The main power L, how we can check the main power L? You have the path, you have a power supply, coil, MOSFET and you have capacitors. And it's zero volts, check there. Hmm? zero so what about if we are tricking the laptop can we do it can i just leave the damage how it is and come with the 19 volts where the 19 volts is missing hmm? so let's see here is ground and here is plus yeah it's working i can't believe so basically if in this moment we are coming with a wire with 19 volts here, it will work. 
So check here, check here the light, yeah? 19 volts here. You can see the light on the charging port? I'm curious, it's working? Let's see. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, probably this is a religious uh, customer. Anyway, pressing the power button, obviously nothing it will happen. You can see it's taking no current. But if you are coming with a power supply here, I'm curious. Pressing the power button. Check there, it's taking current. I can't believe. So what we are doing right now, we are by bypassing the first uh, two MOSFETs. That's what we are doing right now. Let's see if we have picture. Is no picture? That's something else because uh, uh, the liquid damage, which is on the power management chip, have nothing. Okay, it is working. Have nothing to do with the picture. So we have picture. Check that. Check that. Huh? Obviously, if we are taking the power, it's going off. So if I will be dodgy, like the people are saying I'm dodgy, what I will do? I will just bypass the input MOSFETs, which are. Which are here, check here, check here. Speaking about the dodgy people, check here, yeah? So you have the inputs, so what do we have on the input? A tenor diode, this one. So basically if you are using like a non-genuine charger with a little bit more voltage, very possible this diode, it will get shorted. So here we have 19, here we have zero volts you can see so the voltage is not passing the first mosfet now on the gate we have nothing and we should have like 25 volts so basically you have first mosfet then it's going to the second mosfet then you have the current sensor and here it's your main power rail okay so basically what i did i was shorting this point to this point and yeah we do have charging uh, charging light check here So uh, from the diode after the second MOSFET, check there, you can see the light on the charger, huh? Yeah, you can use a wire. You know what I'm curious before we are fixing this? I'm curious, what about it will charge? Probably it will not charge, but I want to see it. I want to see if it's charging. Probably not, but you know, let's test it. From here to here. We have the charging light. Look here, the orange light. Not sure if you can see it. One second. White light, orange light. You can see we have orange light, but it's not charging. It's not taking any power. Because obviously the liquid damage is on the power management chip. So let's deal with that. Now do you think we just can clean up and that's all? It will work? It should work, right? Just by cleaning? Can we fix stuff just by cleaning? So this is a isopropylic alcohol. Let's dry it. Okay, now let's test that one more time. I'm curious, just, you know, just by cleaning. Let's see. Plug in the charger. It's not charging. It's not. We have no power, so it's still not working. Let's find out why. So I will leave the the charger plugged in. This is a BQ chip, a power management chip. Let's come with the multimeter. So with the multimeter. We need to check the input voltage, which is, um, this is the current sensor. Okay, this is the input current sensor. No, this is the charging battery current sensor. And probably the power is coming here. And we have 19 volts. Check on the screen, 19. So if we have 19, yeah, this chip has 19. Why is not working? Because the chip is dead, possible. It is possible because the chip is dead. But here we still have just a little bit of rust. 
this resistor is gone. And that resistor is coming from uh, those diodes. I believe it's a double diode. One is coming voltage from the battery, and one from the charger. So with this rusty resistor, it will not work. So what this resistor is doing is taking power. What voltage do we have here? Here we have 19. Check on the screen. We have 19. So if we have 19, here we have 0. And you see, that's not right. This resistor is meant to limit the current, but we is limiting the whole current. I mean, we have zero, nothing. So I will say, let's use some rosin and try to solve the problem with that resistor. We don't know what resistor it is. That's the thing. A little bit of rosin. Good. Now let's try to remove this resistor. Yeah, you can see the resistor came out straight away. Yeah, I want the resistor there, so the pads are fine. Yeah, you can see both pads are fine. Now let's see what value has the, this resistor. So I'll switch to 20 kilo ohms, should be fine, yeah? And I can't see anything. Okay, so the resistor is gone. So we don't have the resistor to see what resistor it was there. But let's clean it. And let's try to understand what's going on here. So we have a resistor here from the 19. Then here we have another resistor. Here we have a capacitor. Probably those are to ground. I think I know what pin. I think I think this is the AC detect. That's what I believe it is. And uh, here probably can be any kind of resistor. Now we don't have seven to eight. We have seven to five, which uh, I believe we are kind of the same. So which pin we are looking for? Pin number six. Pin number six. It's AC detect. You can see it. So this is our problem. And the resistor, check here, yeah? You have a divider here, AC detect. You have a divider, 430 kilo ohms, wow. And it's going straight to the uh, input voltage. But what is the limit of the voltage on this one, AC detect? Let me check one second. AC detect is from uh, 0.3 volts to 7 volts. Check here, I believe I found the resistor, yeah? So pin number 6, you can see you have a capacitor, one resistor here and one resistor here. This is plus. So we need this resistor, which is 400 kilo ohms. Okay, that's perfect. Let's grab the resistor out. Let's try to solder this resistor, but this is a little bit too big. So I'm not sure how I will do it. Yeah, something like that. And here, perfect, perfect, let's check, 19. Why we have 19 on this pin when, when it's supposed to be like 7 volts? Because they're here and here is short. You can see? <sighs> we made something wrong here, yeah, it's our fault. So somehow, we done something wrong here. Let's check one more time. So 19. Here.
how the 19 is coming here? I don't understand. We have a resistor which looks like it's zero ohms, but it's not zero because I checked that, right? Okay, let's remove the resistor. Because it was touching there? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it was my fault. Okay. Perfect, let's check down. Plug in the charger and it's working. I can't believe we have light on the charger. But let's check the voltage, yeah? Let's see what voltage is supposed to be here. So here is supposed to be two volts, which is perfect, yeah? It's up to seven volts. Huh? So what do you think? What do you think about this? Check here, we have light on the charger. Now you can see the light. What about if we're plugging the battery, huh? Because that was the the point. Plug in the battery. Check that, check that, the charging current. Yeah, 100 milliamps is the pre-charge current and it's switching to 1.5 amps. And obviously we do have the orange light here and I'm pretty sure the laptop it is coming on. Let's press the power button, which is here. Pressing the power button, the current is going over 2 amps. You can see that? So we have charging and we have uh, a working laptop. And we have picture. Check that. It's working. You can see? Enter to reboot the system. Enter. It's working. We fixed it. This is a nice job for a Friday. Perfect. Yeah, it's no hard drive, no hard drive. But everything it's working fine. Hmm? Yeah, it's good to have like spares, you know, to take like a resistor, a diode, things like that. It's good. Good. So I'm gonna stop now. Everything is working fine. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like usual, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.